a little something different today instead of doing a whiteboard in an office or whatnot we're going to show you on the job site how to actually do this stuff i'm ralph with southeastern general contractors we're here based out of north carolina we do design build custom homes commercial projects we've been a general contractor for going on 18 years now so where we're at in this stage of the build is we've got the brick masons um they are getting started with the brick veneer we do an orientation with them and we go around and make sure that we account for all the cubes of brick that are on site first and foremost we count them all we get a total number of brick count that is on the job site but we also go around and make sure to get ahead of a potential issue by doing this you'll see on each one of our walls we go around and we measure the walls we already do a takeoff on the beginning stages doing the blueprints doing a takeoff there but we also come out on site just to double check and make sure that we get our math now here's what we do we do the math that shows the length of the wall the height of the wall we figure out the square footage the number of brick per square foot and so in this case this wall where we've got a brick exterior is 25 foot 2 long by 11 foot 6 tall that gives us 289 square foot of wall space brick wall space we times that by seven brick per square foot that gives us a total of 2,250 to 2,025.9 brick. Now we add a 10% waste factor. So when you add your 10% waste factor in, that's 2,227. So one cube of brick has 380 brick in, in it per cube. So now we take the, the total brick for this wall, which is 2,228 brick. We divide it by the number of brick per cube. 2228 divided by 380 it tells us that we're going to need 5.86 cubes of brick for this wall now what this looks like from a distance is when you walk the job we're doing our inventory for our brick that's here but we also can come and look at the job and see how many brick is needed for each and every wall so we go around we do all that for every single wall and gable area that gets brick so we got it on this wall and we got it on each wall once we do the math and we write it on the tyvek the permanent marker for each wall we'll then go around using our calculator and we'll add up exactly how many cubes of brick is needed on this job to do this brick veneer we need 50 cubes of brick when we count the cubes of brick we have on site we have 45 cubes of brick so it looks like we may need an additional five cubes of brick potentially but hold up you see we do our, we do our math but we don't take out the square footage of the openings on any wall so the idea is we do that and um we probably won't need to order or it's going to be very close when we when we kind of compensate for that um because as you see right here we got this wall and it says we're going to need 2.95 cubes of brick but we figured the whole wall area and we didn't take out the area for the windows so if we was to account for taking out for all the square footages for the windows then you know we wouldn't necessarily need 50 cubes of brick to finish out these brick walls because we would have taken out for the windows now we could go in and we could do that but for us and what has worked for us we always find that that typically puts us right puts us right on the money and just want to give you an overview of how we do what we do and think this is a good idea for you guys to maybe do something like that to where you go around and get all your math on each wall in some cases your wall heights change you got 13 foot 9 here over there you got 14 foot 9 and the reason why is because you got a difference in elevation with where we're, with where your brick starts on the veneer. So it's real simple. We just go around, we do the math, we figure it up, we write the number of cubes for each wall, we add up the total cubes that we're going to need for each wall, and then we compare it to the number of cubes we have on site. And then if we're way off, then we'll go ahead and get ahead of it and order more cubes of brick. But if we're really close, like what we are now, we won't order any brick we'll just keep a closeful watchful eye as the brick masons progress to see you know how things are going 
And then as they get nearer to the end, maybe a week ahead of time, we'll call ahead and get, if we need to get another three cubes ordered, we'll go ahead and get another three cubes ordered of, uh, of brick to, to finish out the job. But, you know, even with the gables, you know, one of the things that we do, as I'll show you right here, we simply do the math. We just get the linear, the linear foot of the wall plus the height. And we just do the rectangle areas, right? We break this up in sections. So we did this section back here, made that just a rectangle, did the length times the height, and did the formula like you've already seen. We do this section here back over to here, kept that a rectangle as well. And we let the triangle for the gable be a separate formula. And you'll see that right here. And for the gable, for the gable, all we did was got the measurement, got the total height from here to the peak is eight foot. Now, now we did got a little bump up right there. It's kind of like a little unique. See that little bump up right here, right there. So we accounted for that in that one foot. And so when you do the math, let me just break this down for you. You've got 33 foot, four long times one foot, for that section there, equals that times the square footage times seven brick gives us 256 brick divided by 380. We need 0.67 cubes of brick for this section right here. Now, as you'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and you can pause this and look at the math, but we, we needed a total of 3.37 cubes of brick for the gable by itself and there's the math on how we come up with that so i'm gonna zoom out you can pause the video if you would like and you know screenshot that and then we'll go over here and show you the math for the regular wall not you know accounting for the the gable on top of it and then we added the two together how many cubes it took for the gable how many cubes it took for the wall and it tells us we needed 13.33 cubes a brick for this entire area on this side of the home. Then we go around and we add up the same thing in this area. And then we just total it up. And when we total it up, it said we needed 50. We got 45 on the job. And we didn't take out the windows. But for now, everything is good. And just wanted to give everybody a quick, quick uh, tutorial on how to do the construction math on site. And then last thing I'll show you is I'll show you over here at the garage doors how that works out because this is this one's a little tricky. And what you do is you get your length for the total wall area and the height that gives you your wall square footage. Then you get the square footage for this garage door and that garage door. You take the total wall square footage and you deduct out the garage door square footage and that'll give you your brick for near square footage wall area. Here's what that map looks like. And we write it on the Tyvek. So we get the wall square footage length times the height. Add 10% waste factor for the square footage. Now we get the garage door opening square footage. Nine foot wide doors by seven foot tall. Gives us 63 square foot times one times two garage doors equals 126, right? Now we take the garage, uh, the wall square footage minus the garage door opening square footage gives us our total brick area square footage, which is 150. Once you have your total brick area square footage, you times it by seven brick per square foot. It gives you the total number of brick you're going to need for that wall. And you divide it by the number of brick per cubes, which is 380. And it tells you we're gonna need 2.77 cubes of brick to put the brick veneer on this wall. And on the gable above, uh, we gotta do brick there as well. I'll show you that formula. So you got your brick gable. We do the same thing. The length times the height plus 10% waste factor. And being that that's a gable, it's a triangle. So all you have to do is divide that total square footage out by two. That gives us 228 uh, square footage times seven brick per square foot. Gives us a total number of brick we need for that gable. Total number of brick divided by 380 brick per cube. Tells us we need 4.2 cubes of brick 